Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius for the month of February. So this is Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of February. Keep in mind this reading may not be for you. There's no way that I could resonate with everybody. It's just the way it is. Um, it may not resonate right now. It may resonate at the end of the month. It may resonate at any time in February. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We are going to see whatever comes up. What do we have for Sagittarius for the month of February? You know, I really feel like things are starting to pick up for you. I don't know why. I think that things are starting to get better. Better. You're probably feeling very um, confident at this time. Really strong. I feel a really strong energy around you. Um, a lot of independence. Uh, a lot of... Uh, what do I... It's... I can't think of the word. Uh, desire to succeed. Okay? Strong desire to succeed here. If you are a Sagittarius male, <laughs> you may have a choice between two people. Just saying. This could be one person that is that is stable and emotionally available, or you may have a choice between two if you are the male Sagittarius. Okay. Um, if you are the female Sagittarius, it looks to me like you're probably taking on the energy of being very stable, being very um, reliable, responsible, really, really... Um, working on yourself. I see a lot of uh, self-love, a lot of intuition flowing, uh, very tranquil with who you are, being very um, grounded. You know, it's like you're, it's grounded, but, well, this is emotionally stable, okay? Emotionally stable. So it's great. If you're the Sagittarius female, you are in a great spot. And people are seeing you as this. People are seeing you as having your shit together. Put it that way. Definitely. Mm. Like I said, and even for the Sagittarius female, okay, somebody has a choice between two. Now, the choice may be, do you choose your heart or do you choose to go uh, towards a relationship, love? Do you choose to focus on that? you choose to focus on your money? I mean, that could certainly be the case here, too. Somebody has to make a difficult choice. What's more important, love or, or money? Relationship or job? I mean, here we got a choice that needs to be made. So this could go, this could go many different ways. Somebody may, may be like, you know, I can't love right now. I can't really focus on a relationship because I got to work. Or that could certainly be the case. And ego is an issue here. You know, you got to feed that ego with, with possessions. This is the queen of materialism. Okay? This is the queen of love. You got to make a choice. What is it going to be? You got to be able to balance out the both. Somebody may be turning down love when they really need to be focusing on it by the looks of things. I mean, it's like I want it, but do you have is the ego more important? You know, cuz when you got to when you got to get those material possessions, you got to have that money in the bank, that's because of ego. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I am the queen of pentacles, my ego is huge. So just saying. Not judging you. Just telling you what I see. Yes, yes, there's lack of wish fulfillment here. And it's like you've given up hope on love. Given up hope on love. No faith in love. So I'll just bury myself in my work, in my job. But you've got to be able to be able to balance the two, like I said. You can do it. You can. 
you you know you have to make this heavy decision and it is a heavy decision do you want love or not you definitely have to make a heavy decision a choice it's like you got some opposition <laughs> you do there's opposition here love or stability love or stability what's it gonna be that is the truth oh my goodness oh god you know it's like I need that money I need show me the money show me the money right show me the money Because if you take a look at this shit right here. Love or money? Love or money? What is it going to be? Somebody is like not focusing on love. It's all about the money. Show me the money. Right? I mean, it's it's so evident. You can, you can balance out the two. You can, but it's going to take a lot of effort. It's like I've given up hope. There's no, I don't have any hope in love. Well, you know, you have this new opportunity, right? You have this new opportunity that, you know, you may be conflicted about. You may be conflicted whether you want to accept it or not. You got this this new idea, this new thought, whatever, this new opportunity. You do. You got this new opportunity, perhaps, to open your heart. And you're like, eh. how much money do you got? <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know. But I got to, I, whatever. I'm looking for something stable. I'm looking for something solid. I want something long-term. And right now, the, the long-term uh, situation or the long-term goal is building up my abundance, building up my prosperity. So I think that right now you guys are probably working on, uh, setting boundaries. You probably are setting boundaries. You probably have set some boundaries. You're probably, you know, coming up with ideas to increase your abundance and you're not really having faith in love right now because your wish fulfillment is in, uh, building your success, you know, for your financial success. So I feel like right now you're probably taking a break from love. Some of you are. And, you know, you have an opportunity to come out of this period of taking a break. But you're going to have to make a choice, you know, can you balance out the both? Can you balance out love and money, right? You know, there could be some legal issues, you know. Maybe, maybe there's a... Uh, A split that's on the horizon you know there could be some sort of split that you know you need to you need to take a time out from maybe somebody is is being cut out of your life maybe you're deciding to cut somebody out of your life this is deciding maybe you're deciding to you know take your power back and go after something more abundant I don't know So, you know, you guys may be uh, going through some sort of midlife crisis and you may see, feel like it's a midlife crisis or maybe it's not. Maybe it's like, I just want to be alone. I just want to be alone right now because I'm recovering from some deceitful situation. You know, somebody may have cheated you. Somebody may have robbed you. Somebody may have deceived you in a partnership or something in the love arena. And now you just don't have any faith at all. Or, you know, this is cheating. Somebody's cheated, whether it's you or the other person. And now it's like, shit, you know, I just need to be alone to gather my thoughts and go within and refine myself. You may be going through some sort of repression right now and just needing to seriously replan. I need to replan my future. I'm going to take a break from love to go within. I'm going to silence myself from the world right now because... I've been robbed, you know, robbed of abundance, robbed of prosperity. It's like I think that there's a like a there's a lack of hope, a lack of hope that there is a such thing as true love, but there is, there really is, okay? There really is. You need to you know, right here we have a mask and right here we have a mask. It's like you're not seeing something clearly and with this one you're not. You're not seeing something clearly. There is still an opportunity for love to be had. 
But right now, this time of introspection is needed to heal from something. And that's the truth. Healing is needed from something. You need to go through some sort of, you know, I don't know, let's see, enlightenment. It's like you you're not feeling confident that you could that you could give to a relationship right now. You not, might not be feeling confident with your own intuition. You may you may be thinking, you know, there's no I can't have victory and success in a relationship because I'm still waking up in my own way. Yeah, there's a lot of tension. There's a lot of tension. There's a lot of back and forth. It's like you may have some competition and, and you're dealing with the competition. It's like you're in a uh, uh, dramatic situation. It's like you're, in, you're, you're being forced to play some sort of game that you don't really want to play. A lot of conflict. It's like you're dealing with some sort of conflict right now. So you may feel like you just don't have the energy. You don't have the desire to to uh, play any games with people. You're just working on yourself. I'm working on my stability. Thank you very much. But you still got to play, right? It's like you still got to you still got to fight for yourself, fight for your independence. And like I started this out, it's like you're going to protect yourself, right? If I got to play, I got to play, but it ain't going to be pretty, right? I think things are happening very quickly. I think communication is coming from many different directions. Things are happening from many different directions. Uh, there's probably been some sort of split, or there's going to be a split, okay? There's some sort of split in a partnership. There's a partnership that is no longer compatible and is changing your direction. Your direction is shifting. This split that is happening, this this split, okay, there's a split here that is happening, is um, going to bring balance and harmony to your life. It really is with that justice card reverse. It needs to happen. It needs to happen so that you can balance out your life and get your abundance back. If you are going to court, just saying, if you're going to court, you are going to receive a payout. You know, if you're going to court for money, maybe it's a divorce or something like that or something you could be receiving some sort of payout whether it's court or somebody's giving you money or giving you something this is a payout you could be re receiving some sort of payout I don't know I don't usually don't discuss that but I see it so you may have been cheated you may have been deceived and somebody may think they're getting away with it but you're gonna get payoff on this you're moving in a better direction Sagittarius you are. You're moving away from a conflicted partnership where there wasn't any success. There wasn't. It's like maybe there wasn't one time, but not anymore. I think you're quickly moving to a better place. Very quickly you're moving to a better place after this partnership dissolves, whatever it is. That robbed you of complete success. You're moving to a better place. You're transitioning right now. And you may not be able to offer anybody anything because you need to work on yourself. It's like, no, I can't start anything with anybody because it's about me right now. And I think that's the right decision. I really do. I think you are dealing with somebody who doesn't, or some situation that really doesn't have a lot of integrity. And it may have caused you to lose some of your focus and lose some of your drive, but... I think you realize that. You have to give it up. You have to give something up because there's no stability in it. Yeah, it's like I'm not going to put in effort. I'm not going to fight for something that has no uh, desire to grow. You know, there's no nothing stable there. There's no coin. There's no success. There's no real partnership. It's like you're on your own anyway. So it looks like you guys are going down a new path and you're headed towards a much better place. It's like you're at that crossroads and you're about to cross that bridge and you're headed towards a much better option. You may be moving, you may be traveling, you're making a really good decision even though it's probably pretty hard. Maybe a little scary to make this decision. But I think you guys are making the right decision to cross that barrier and just focus. Just focus on your abundance. That's what I see. Your success.
I think you guys are expanding. You're working on expanding your horizons after being stuck in like a dead end situation. And you're committed to it. You're committed to your success. And happiness is coming. It absolutely is. You're building a stronger foundation right now than you had before. Working hard, putting in a lot of effort, making plans, following through, building yourself up. This is fantastic. Yeah, no longer acting impulsively. It's like you guys are thinking, making serious plans for success. So yeah, I started this reading out correctly. One bit of advice I have is you need to be able, you should try to balance out emotional contentment with your responsibilities. There is an opportunity for happiness here. There is. But maybe right now just isn't the time because it's self-love. I think that's what this is. I think that is self-love. You're healing your heart chakra by being realistic and following your own path and, and probably secluding yourself at this time to build yourself back up. No longer investing in something that wasn't going to grow. Not going to waste my time anymore. I'm going to plant my seed someplace else and I'm going to grow. Damn it. And that's exactly what this is. So you guys are going through a huge period of growth. And everybody can see it. And I got the chills just now when I said that like strong through my whole body. It was like a big old chill. A huge time of growth for you and it's leading you to success and stability. You could be even getting um, a pay raise or more money, more money, money from somewhere because of your effort to focus. So we're going to get you one of these. Sagittarius, one card. Oh, God, thank you, Lord. Beginning a new cycle, and that is exactly what this is. It makes complete sense. A new day has begun in your life. You are at the beginning of a new cycle. It's time to release the old and start again. I'm going to read that again. It's time to release the old and start again. Wape the slate clean. Although it's often difficult to release familiar routines, situations, or relationships that no longer empower you, it's now time to set your sights on the future and let go of the past. The traveler faces east towards the sunrise and affirms that a new day and a new cycle have begun. New beginnings are often fraught with the unknown, yet the sacred traveler has observed. On the ex extended journey, that life goes in a cycle. In the cycle of life, the plants die in the autumn so there can be new birth in the spring. The sun rises and the sun sets. It's the universal dance of death and rebirth. There is a time to end and a time to begin. The chills are heavy. There's a time to end and begin in your life. It's the close of one cycle and the beginning of another. So big. <laughs> Face fear about the unknown and be willing to begin anew. You will succeed. Good luck, Sagittarius. <laughs>